Hello, my name is Cheese Kaiser, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Uh, last episode, we subjugated a giant chunk of England. Uh, these five counties here. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, well, I guess it was these five counties in Lincoln, and this was just someone else we conquested. Uh, we finished all of Ireland. We finished, uh, we split up Scotland. We created the Kingdom of Scotland, uh, which means we can't create the Kingdom of England now. We have 841 gold, which I just now noticed. That means we can build another holding or start building castle towns for future... Uh, future money proofing, money proofing, money gain, uh, and I guess it would be, what, a hundred years? Uh, about a hundred years is better than never, and we are almost up, our truces are almost extinguished with Scotland, uh, which means they should almost be extinguished by, with this guy, no, two more years for that, uh, not a big deal. Uh, so we'll probably go to war with Scotland for one of these counties, maybe a Thol, uh, since that's geographically large. I don't know if it's any good, but it's large. Uh, we will resubjugate Jorvik, because we still have the uh, uh, unlimited subjugation of England, because that is still our ambition. We are 59 years old. Uh, that's getting up there. Uh, my goal is to live for at least... Eight more years until this guy gets to be 16, but I'm not sure that's even doable. I uh, I honestly don't think it's doable. This woman is seven. This woman is going to be a lot older than him. Hopefully, she'll be able to have a child with him before time runs out. Uh, but if not, it's just strong. We can find a better wife for you. This oh, these boats I apparently never disbanded. My bad. Oh, wow. Uh, Sweden's over here in a midst of a large army. Someone has a claim on... Scotland. And someone else is... Jailand is trying to subjugate Sweden. And someone else is trying to get independence. Sweden's kind of F. Uh, that sucks for them. Who is this Queen Ingrider's... Who is Queen Ingrider? Um, I don't know. Maybe she was Norse? Maybe she... I hope she's... I hope she's Norse. Actually, Catholic is fine, too, because we can just go to war with Catholic willy-nilly. Not worry about it. Uh, but we still have to declare war on this guy. We have to get... Now that we we uh we need to have medium authority and we need to get uh we need to get all three Norse holy lands reform our religion uh become a more civilized pagan if you will uh but I don't think that's going to happen in very shortly I don't think it's going to happen in this man's lifespan even How close are we honestly how close are we to forming Britannia? Because if we can form Britannia... If we can form Britannia, then forming England is not a problem. Because then we can give away a kingdom to someone else. Huh. That, that might be very smart, really. Um... But, no, no, I don't want to do it until until we have medium crown authority. Because medium crown authority keeps our vassals from fighting one another. And we don't want one kingdom to gain, you know, go on into Ireland. So we'll hold off on that. Um, really, Gavelkind has made kind of a... Forming, forming Scotland has made an issue for us. We could always go to war. Well, we can't go to war with our own vassals. We could always revoke. We could revoke. Because I believe you can freely revoke counties that you have a strong claim on, or titles that you have a 
strong claim on, and we would have a strong claim on said kingdom of... Why is this... Why is Fijibijad a kingdom? Is Scotland not our main title? It is. What is this? Oh, that's Sweden. Okay, that's Sweden. That's the... Okay, never mind. Um, I understand now. It's because we have a land in Sweden. Forget it. Not a problem. How are our vassal levies doing? We want to look at 8,000. About They're about half strength. Uh, half strength is enough for whatever I'm doing, though. So, eh, not a concern. Um, East Francia. If we take a look at map, just to look at how we're doing... Um, East Francia is out of control. Aquitaine gained over, gained East Francia. Astorius is doing pretty well against these, uh, Arabian Muslim nations. Uh, I don't expect that conti to continue because Umid is a pretty strong force. Bulgaria has managed to maintain its relative independence, uh, from the Byzantine Empire. And I think it's bigger than it started out. Normally, Byzantines gather up, like, that much land of it. But they're doing well. Um, Shrakardarki? Uh, King Rurik? Hmm. That's weird. King Rurik? Rurik the just Normally, that's Holmgarder, and he tries to form Russia. Uh, but I think that's still the king. I don't know. We'll just ignore that. We want to form a new kingdom, though. Let's just think for a minute. We form England, we form Britannia. Um, one of our guys will have a claim on another kingdom. Which isn't good. They could press it. Uh, I don't think they will press it, though. But they might. They certainly might. An inheritance is going to be a complicated, complicated ordeal for me, I feel. Um, where is our marshal? What is he? He's leading troops. Stop leading troops, you fool. Research mil military tech. What are you doing? Do we have any better? No. 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 No one's really better. Oh, we do need to figure out inheritance, though. Period. End of story. Um, Kildare is a decent land. Maybe we'll just give that to our daughter. Hey, daughter. Let's get a matrilineal marriage going with someone. Anyway. Oh, you. You, my good friend, are getting matrilineally married to my daughter. Are you the heir to anything? No, you're not. But you are genius. You aren't my religion, but that is acceptable. Uh, and you will get a claim on... You have a claim, I believe, on the tribe of Mask, which is way over there. We're not even going to press that. But you're a good son. Uh, where was it? Arranged marriage. Matrilineal. Oh, no. We, we got to click on her. Click on her. Arranged marriage. Matrilineal. To that dude. Metascala. Uh, you're not my religion. You're not my culture. But you're close enough for it to not cause problems, I think. I could, could be 100% wrong. Maybe we can ask you to reform. Maybe we can uh, just uh, send our guy down there to hopefully reform you. Uh, but anyway. Where did you go? There you are. There you are. There you are. Um, see if you accept. 2-1. Uh, all children will be of her dynasty. So that's something. That's that's his that's his deal. Um, my son-in-law. He is a genius. She is a genius. They will do well together. Uh, can we demand religious conversion? We cannot. Can we grant him a landed title? We can... Um, I think, I think we won't have to worry about religion. Um, 
he's a foreigner, short reign, religious differences, not, not a heretic religious difference, because it's still, it's like, uh, it's like Catholicism and Orthodox. They're different religions, but they're friendly enough that they don't continuously war. That's how I feel this is. But, we're gonna give him a title. I'm thinking Kildare. I'm thinking Kildare. Tyrone would be good too. Uh, but Kildare actually has. How's the castle level? Uh, 4.0 compared to 3.5. Maybe we should start building a castle town for him just to be nice and then give it to him. Uh, grant land the title. That's ourself. Grant land the title to our daughter. We are fumbling around with the, uh, the system. But that's fine. County of Kildare. There you go, man. There you go. Um, we should, we should get you, uh, to convert. Oh, you, uh, vassal inheritance warning. You really need to have a son first. Uh, we should have been a lot more careful about that. Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. No big deal. And we will probably just ignore Tyrone now, because that's not important, and send our seer down into Kildare to... County reli Subject Religion Converted, 18.99 yearly. That's what we want. There you go. Hopefully he'll convert his religion. That'll be great. Maybe, maybe this guy... Maybe we'll get the Pope. <laughs> that doesn't seem likely. Uh, it in fact, seems impossible. And probably is impossible. But, you know, it never hurts to try. Second son. Uh, hopefully, let's just wait until you are an adult. Ah, uh, you're betrothed. I think this will be fine if we give it to you. I don't think you'll break off the betrothal if you do. Uh, big deal. Like, <clears throat> Crack my voice, apparently. Apparently I'm 15 years old again, instead of 23. Um, County of Gallery. Uh, there you go. Don't break your betrothal, please. Uh, that would be nice. Um, let's see, our other son. Our other son. Our other son, Prince Bercy. Um, you will get nothing. No, you will get, uh, Jayland. County of Jayland. There you go. Open can open council positions. Our seer. Well, thank you, seer. You will make our son our seer now. Cause... Um, how about you convert your brother-in-law? Uh, Okay. Now, we want to give our last son, Prince Sven, we want to give him Upland. County of Upland. I think that will work itself out. I, th I, I, I think our son will inherit County of... Oh, you gotta inherit Northampton. I don't... Why, why do they inherit Middlesex when that is my capital? That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable at all. Please don't break off your betrothals. That's why I did this. I was hoping you wouldn't. Um, maybe we just have to give him Middlesex. Maybe. But that's my capital, man. That's my capital. Oh, oh well. Let's start building some... Some thing. This has no. Let's build. We want all of these for our one son. Unfortunately, we can only give one territory to him, I believe. And that one territory will be not our capital because then our capital is not our capital, obviously. Alright, Northampton. Uh, Cape. Well, should training down. Barracks, castle. Ah, that's fine. We're fine with that for now. We should have built one on this just so the, uh, would accelerate the process. Okay. I know that was a lot of time spent doing virtually nothing, but 
hopefully it will future proof us somewhat. Uh, now, now we'll go back to war, I guess. Um, it's really too bad. Maybe, wait, you are in the Temple of Bangor Fervor. Maybe you'll die. You're my heir. Maybe you will die. Maybe I can kill you and make this a new temple town. Maybe it doesn't really matter, though. In fact, it almost certainly doesn't matter. Oh, if we give away these other lands... Oh, but we only hold these four. I was saying, if we gave away these, it wouldn't be a problem and he would inherit it, but... I don't want to do that. I really don't want to do that. In any case, um, we have this army. We need to wait until that truce is up. Let's just let's uh what 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 time does it, what time is it up? It is up in when is up subjugation uh oh no. Maybe we could subjugate Denmark. No, that's not enough. Maybe we could wait until one of these wars is over and then subjugate that. Because we'll still have a subjugation clause for us, because we didn't use it in our battle against England. Maybe we could subjugate Sweden. We could, we could do that, right? No, we don't have a valid cost spell -y. I don't know. Why don't we have a Valley Costas Belly? Hmm. Oh well. Uh, can we declare war against you, maybe? Declare war subjugation of Denmark. Yeah, but that would only give us three lands. Eh. Ish. This would give us four. This would give us three, or no, this would give us four, but they're not a great four. That one's solid. Uh, but compared to the, these are a lot better. These are, these are much, much better. Uh, yeah, those are much better. So if we do subjugate, we'll subjugate Denmark. Oh, no. Okay, maybe these will give us five. I'm apparently very confused. Oh, no, okay, that's theirs. This would give us this. One, two, three, four, five territories. Um, that might be what we do. Uh, it does seem like these guys are going to lose war. Maybe we'll just let our last subjugation clause evaporate away. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. What well, would be pretty bad, though. 888. Do we want to wait two years for that? No, we do not. We'll just... Adar was born to Prince Trogdar of Scotland and Kraken named Oslog. She's a genius. My son's already having great kids. Uh, I would have preferred it to be another son and genius, but a daughter first. Be because a young son means that he's going to have very little time to actually rule. Like, this is great because I'm 59 and my son is 17. So he's going to have, you know, a big old lifespan to rule. But, say, if he's 17 and he has a kid... That kid's only gonna have, say, maybe 15 years to rule. Unless this guy dies real early, which would also be a problem. Anyway, who inherits this, uh, this, uh, who inherits the duchy? That's what I want to know. Uh, you heir to the king of Scotland, heir to the Jarl of Sudrayar. Okay, so you inherit it. I guess we'll give that Jarl away. It's not so important. Kinder just, kinder arbitrary, kinder just is the only option. Um, let's give away the, uh, the Duchy of Sudrayar. Maybe to, uh, maybe this man. Are you a good, you, oh, yep, yep, here, here you go. Grantland title, uh, Jarl of Sudrayar. I think that makes us, that makes him very powerful. It really does. Uh, makes him quite powerful. Makes him more powerful than the rest of us, but I don't really care about that. We should create this Jarldom, and I think that will then pass to my main guy, my main inheritor. I do so believe. 
I have to think that is the case. Anyway, um, let's declare war. Jorvik, this place. Um, did our truce run up with Scotland? Yes, it did. So, did our truce run up with him? No, it did not. In two years, that's when we'll take these last two remaining. Cool beans. Okay, so let's uh, give you... Let's create this duchy whatever duchy it is, it is duchy of exit essex create uh yes we have made the earldom of essex and our son will inherit oh oh he is heir to the yes because we did that he is now the heir to all of those counties uh, i did not know that would happen but that is optimal i did not know that would happen just being honest didn't know that would happen uh, we've learned. Now, if you create, apparently, a duchy in your capital, he will inherit everything in it. That is very good. Um, it seems now, as long as you guys don't break your betrothals like you could, why are you an amateurist plotter? I educated you myself. Why did you become not... I... I... Uh, I'm speechless. And it's really bad, too. It's not a good one. Uh, eh. Whatever. Your stats are still really, really high. Uh, solid mid-teens across the board. That's really good. Uh, for, a, for a leader. Uh, anyway. It seems like our inheritance has been set. We're no longer worried about it as long as these, these children... Remain betrothed to who they are betrothed to. Uh, none of this is going to be a problem. Uh, we have room for one more ward. So let's uh, let's educate this son ourselves instead of this woman. Educate child. You with me. No, that's my wife. Uh, you with me. That's my son. That's me. There we go. Okay. With that out of the way, uh, no concern as long as we don't create England. Let's make sure not to create England. Uh, we should now declare war on our claims. County of Shetland, uh, be very t careful about uh, pronunciation of Shetland. Um, and I guess you guys are still at war. Are you... I mean, sure, man. If we're quick, we could get over there. Uh, do we want to? No, that would that would cause more inheritance issues. So we're just gonna let that pass to our son, and then hopefully in the future he will have two genius sons. We can give him that. Norway can be his. We don't have to worry about it. Maybe we'll find someone to give Finland to, but that's a long way off. Um. At this point, I don't think I will accept any more claims, because we could die. In fact, now, I'm I'm just willing to die. Like, uh, I'd be happy dying in a day. Uh, because... Because of this, declare war. Guess what? We now have that claim. And because of this, declare war. Guess what? We're gonna get that. Declare war. Um, you're revolting against your liege. Who is your liege? I don't care. Don't care at all. Uh, declare war on Scotland. Maybe Clydesdale, maybe a Thul. Let's take Clydesdale and make a, uh, connect our, maybe Strathern. Break them up, connect ours. Uh, Strathern breaks all theirs up. That's a good mid, maybe it'll work tactically. Let's just conquest that. And what else? Uh, we could... We could subjugate. We can't subjugate. Why can't subjugate? We could subjugate just not too long ago. Apparently now that's not an option. Oh, uh, what? Uh, what? Whatever. 
Maybe it's because of we are currently using one to subjugate Yorvik. Who is our allies? This guy. This guy is our ally. Um, cool, I suppose. Our son in Ireland could uh, gain some power. <laughs> That's the thing. Uh, maybe, actually, could we work it out so that our son, our vassal, inherits that? Not our son, our stepson. Because he's now our vassal. Maybe we could work it out that he inherits that. Maybe we could kill his siblings. Is he the heir to anything? He's a faction leader of independence. You bitch. I gave you I gave you all that. Oh, it's these four. Let's kill this man. Let's plot to kill this man. Cancel. Uh Oh, yep, not can't. Why did I cancel? Oh, can we do it? Can we do it? Uh, you'd like him a lot. Maybe we can do it. We'll just, uh... We'll try and set it in motion. For some reason, he... I gave him something. He started an independence plot. He is such an ungrateful little scum. Maybe... Maybe... Maybe this man is close if we send him a gift. Uh, invite to plot. No, not close enough. Okay. Factions. Independence faction. You little scumbag. Making. I gave you a county, Kildare. I'm, I'm making your son, who's my dynasty, the future king of Ireland. And how do you thank me? By d making an independence faction? You jerk. Oh well. Let's raise our vassal levies. 15,000! Uh, these ones we'll just get rid of. Um, we'll gather you up. Uh, forget navies for now. This We can just do this the old-fashioned blunt force way. Uh, mm, gather you up. Let's march all of you into there. Uh, let's march all you... Well, let's just, let's just disband these guys since they are not in very safe places. Well, he is, but he isn't. He isn't. And you, uh, you gotta go through a soul. Mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Let's gather all you up in Cumberland. Okay, no, don't go through a soul. Uh, well, actually, that's only 87 units. A actually, everyone, everyone go to a soul. Have some fun there. Some people black backing my plot. Uh, that's nice. Someone guardianship. Okay, that's me. Uh, of course you will. Why wouldn't you? Uh, intrigue. Oh, what's the plot, plot power now? Oh, he has children. Never mind. This won't work. This won't work at all. So forget that uh, because he has kids. It won't work. I thought it would. Uh, it won't. Whatever. We'll just ignore it. It's not that important to get some irrelevant territories all away on the other side of the world anyway. Uh, they would probably just end up losing them. Okay. Why, why do I care? Who are you? Who... Well, why do I care about any of that? <laughs> Did I hold some of that or something? Won the battle. Oh, uh, I guess let's just come on down here, and you guys just come on up here. And we've got... Oh, why are we heading to the... not... God damn it. They stopped revolting. That sucks. I guess we'll just come up here in Jorvik. Disband these fleet levies. Oh, someone's gonna try and Scottish subjugate England. Oh, that's my subjugation. Never mind then. Never mind me. Uh, oh, that's why we... Okay. We lost the ambition to become the King of England. And so we only had one more subjugation. That makes sense. That makes... That makes sense. Uh, I, I didn't think it through quite enough, and 
But really, that's that's perfectly sensical. Anyway, won the battle. Uh, I suppose we will assault the holding. How how many people are there? Uh, way too many people to assault. Vassal levies raised too long. Uh, oh, because you're not my religion. Get in my religion, you fool. Ah, oh, man. Anyway. That's kind of annoying. We'll take your Vic. Eh, it's whatever. We'll take... Who else are we at war against? Shetland. Who's Shetland? Chiefess of Shetland. Oh, right! Up here. I completely forgot about that territory. I forgot totally that we, uh... Oh, we got a lot of fleets now. Uh, I guess we can just gather up down here by Jorvik. Uh, and prepare to take that guy all the way up there. Yep. Sounds fine. I totally forgot we were in that war as well. Um... Big ol' miss sight on my part. Uh, big ol' unimportant thing. Because we remembered! Well, we kind of were reminded. Uh, okay, this should be finished. And any last, last siege, maybe? Maybe. One more siege. This has a lot of holdings in it. Okay, yep, 100%. Get in them both. Uh, merge boats so we can get in them. And all for peace. Offer peace. We got Jorvik. Jorvik is a very good county. Uh, we're happy to have it, uh, but we need to give it away. Give it to who? This man? No ambitious. This man. He has a very high marshal, so he can make a good leader for an army. What? Oh no, we just vassalized this guy, King Ragnar of Jorvik. Okay, what? Um, I suppose that's alright. Uh, it's not the worst thing. You want control of Leicester and Lincoln. Uh, as long as that didn't mess up my inheritance, I'm good. It did not. Uh, I guess you can have control of it. I'm fine with that. Uh, Duchess of Leicester, uh, transfer of vassalage, uh, Dutch, or Chief of Lincoln, where's the Chief of Lincoln? Chief of Lincoln. Looking for it, L Lothian, uh, Lancaster, Lund near Lincoln. There you go. Uh, you're a Dutch, you're a Dutch. Now that we have dukes, uh, things things can get troublematic when you have dukes uh, and you don't have medium crown authority because they just start trying to claim up territories that aren't theirs. The de jure duchies get all sorts of messed up, which I don't know if it's because I am very uh, OCD or meticulous, but it bothers me a great deal when that happens. A great deal. Oh my gosh, we didn't even head them off. Where are you? You are in Lothian? What? Excuse me? Apparently they really don't want to fight. Um, oh no, I guess you're in Dunbar, even though you look like you're in Lothian. Well, whatever. We'll kill you. That's fine by me. Uh, we're about to take that first level siege, which is good come up here in this land. Siege it. Um, hopefully this is now good to go for an assault, which it is. Uh, is this good to go for an assault? Yes, it is. Uh, we'll let our prisoners rot because I don't really care about them. I just tend to ignore my prisoners. And we have a 100% war score on Shetland. Well, I guess let's just send the boats all the way back up. Give this to somebody. Uh, if here, let's let's give them a benefit. Let's give them some castle town, since it's such a crappy territory in the first place. Oh dear, Steward Shetland, Grantland title Shetland. As long as gaining these titles are not messing up my inheritance, which they are not, 
good stuff. Is my daughter pregnant yet? Yeah, you need to get pregnant. She's not pregnant yet. She needs to be. Uh, let's assault again. Let's land our troops and our boats. Maybe we can assault, assault again. No, we can't because it's fully sieged. We'll have two people to siege it, though. Uh, and you'll offer me a piece, which I will, of course, accept. Uh, and let's send you into gallery. This will be quicker to disband. All right, there we go. We want a couple more. We want a couple more. Uh, we need to give that to someone before. Oh, should we give it to our son? Hmm. Maybe we should give it to him, Straythern, because that is all part of the Dijer Duchy of. Um. I can't read that, Albany. Should we give it to him? I don't know. I'll make him too powerful. So we'll just uh, give it to someone else and eventually transfer the vassalage to him. That sounds like the best plan. Let's not give it to a moron, though. Um, not someone ambitious, because I don't want him dealing with that junk. Why don't you like me? Short reign. Why do I have a short reign? I don't have a short reign. Are you crazy? Straight through. There. Whatever. Alright, now this episode is now finished. We did a lot of good things. We did a lot of good things. We, uh, kind of accidentally, something just happened to our mouse pointer. It is all source weird. I don't know if you can see that on the recording, but that's, that's very strange. I don't know. It must be some sort of glitch. Uh, anyway. We won a couple more counties. We no longer have any claims that won't be inherited by our successor. We fixed, kind of accidentally, our inheritance um, by just making this duchy and then giving it to him. We uh, formed, well, no, we formed Scotland last episode. Um, and we have a few plans to do some more things. We lose, <sighs> why do we lose vassals? on his death. Why is his heir this dude? Excuse me. And your your Jarl is my what that doesn't even make sense. Your liege is liege of me. And your I I don't know. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. I don't even really care. Okay, well I guess that'll be it for this episode. Next episode, I will probably attack this guy and this guy, since I think the two years are up in another year, uh, another half a year, really. Uh, we still have a truce with him for another four years, and him for ten now. Um, we no longer have our uh, subjugation clause, because we lost it, uh, subjugation of England when we formed... We lost our... Uh, our ambition to become king of England and thusly unlimited England subjugations when we created Scotland. Uh, unfortunately, that's something unplanned. Um, so we can't really do anything about these. We can do it on our next generation, though. Um, I think the next episode will be some very minor uh, territory takeovers, some very minor wars, such as this and this. Uh, we should probably fabricate some claims on these two counties since we can now not subjugate free w freely. Uh, but maybe we'll subjugate them and then these will become independent and then we can revoke their tithe and then we can not revoke their titles but offer vassalization. That, that would be the optimal solution. Um, but we might not want to waste our subjugation on just that. But that's all in our next generation. Um, next episode will probably be just kind of a minor, easygoing, short, take a couple counties, uh, build up some gold, maybe build a few holdings in our capital duchy. Jarldom, I guess it's called in... as a Norse. And that'll be it. Let's take a look at what's going on. Uh, Bulgaria is still good. Hungary is good. 
Aquitaine has finished their independence war is looking pretty solid. Um, Lotharingia has actually uh, formed their own independent nation again. Um, and Province has also done it. I don't believe... Yeah, these guys are not at war. So maybe maybe Burgundy w will be formed in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Great Moravia is doing really well. I have not seen Great Moravia get that big. Usually Hungary gets uh, kind of out of control. But they've been relegated this episode. Or this playthrough. Uh, Finland is still a mess. Uh, that's going to remain a mess until... God knows when. Luckily, they are Sumanesco, so we can... I believe we can con conquest them in the future when we have a close, 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 uh... Maybe we can't, though. Maybe we can't. Maybe when we reform, we can declare holy wars on them. Yeah, that's probably the case. Form Finland. Uh, that won't be for ages, though. So. Alright, uh, I guess that'll do it for this episode. Um, please leave comments. I love reading all the comments. I'd love to read any comments. Uh, positive or negative, I suppose. Although I'm opening myself up to a lot of criticism there. Um, and I hope to see you on the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you later.